Hi guys. Welcome to the vlog. Let me move my hair, my dead hair. Okay, so I'm going through postpartum depression like so bad. And I'm not like happy. Like it may come off and I'm happy, but yesterday, oh my gosh. Am I like, ooh, I almost snapped. Like I almost snapped and it was just not a good day. It was just my mind was so full of hopelessness and like so many negative things. Like whatever you think, well not whatever y'all think. So don't input everything y'all think. That's how I was feeling. But I was feeling some negative ways and I called my mom like around nine or something because Edward was at a football game with his cousin. So I'm like, look, I didn't need a moment. And like it's okay to have that moment and I'm trying to get myself to understand that it's okay to need a moment to yourself as a mother. Okay. As a mom because we're, we're doing things every single day. We're around our children every single day and they're gift from God. And in order for us to be the best parent that we are and that to handle everything, we have to be mentally together and boy mm -mm. i was not there i was like so sad yesterday i was sad i was sad i was crying i was giving malaya a bath and oh my gosh it was it was the worst it was the worst day of my freaking life so i talked to a couple people i talked to my cousin and Cause I had posted something and I deleted it. Cause I'm like, you know, I don't need people in my business. But it, by the time I deleted it, it was too late. But still, my cousin contacted me. I talked to my cousin. I talked to a girl I went to school with. And she was like, I think you're suffering from postpartum depression. I was like, you know what, damn, I think you're right. Because I looked up the postpartum depression symptoms. Everything. I have every freaking thing, bro. And today I was gonna get my toes done. So I could just take that moment and just have to myself, where's my conditioner? Like I was saying, I was going to take that moment today and just have it to myself. Mom was going to come by and watch my layup for me because Edward's at work. He don't get up until five. But, um, and she was going to treat, she was going to treat me to get my feet done. I'm like, you know what? I do. I just need that moment. Even if it's like 20 minutes, it takes, how long do we use to take to make me get my feet done? Close to an hour it takes me to get my feet done, but that, that's good enough. Like, I just needed to, you know, rejuvenate. Did I get them done? No, because Edward said he'll pay for them and all that stuff. But I also have to go to Goodwill today, so, and like I said, Goodwill, I think, close at 6. He get up at 5, he almost an hour away. I'm not going to be able to do it, so I'm going to go tomorrow. And then today, I'm just about to get Malaya dressed, get me dressed, and we gonna go um, drop off these stupid clothes to Goodwill because it's just clothes piling up, piling up, piling up, piling up, piling up in my mother freaking living room. They gotta go. They got to, is this conditioner? Okay, make sure because I got the shampoo too, so I can't, can't do that. But I, I can't because that's just gonna mess with me. And yeah, I might, you know, treat myself. Not even treat myself. I might just go to Michael's and just look around. That is something I enjoy. I enjoy just, I guess you could call it window shopping. I do enjoy that, like, a lot. So, um, I'm just going to go with Malaya and do that. Even though, like I said, I needed, like, a me moment for a little bit. But I have other stuff I need to do. And... I don't want to be doing that all tomorrow. Also, have to drop off um, the rental application today at seven. So I need to text her to make sure we're still on for that, and to see where we're going to meet up at. But I tried to. Oh, I was going to do a video about it, like my postpartum and stuff. But well, I might still do one. But I want to tell y'all when. Like, I try my best to make sure 
I don't think negative because you know you know what you think can come to you know the light and all that stuff but I try but when you get down into that area it's just like oh my god the world is ending life is over I I have no purpose of being here like yesterday I was really feeling like my only purpose of being here was because of my child like no cap no lie <sighs> trying to figure out why the heck am I here? You know what I'm saying? And my mom was like, you need to watch some something inspirational. Every time you get out the word, you you get into this area. And I'm like, I don't want to hear that. I don't care. You know, me being me, because that's how I be feeling when I'm into that mode. I get into that. I don't care. I don't care what you're talking about. Life is over. I get into that, especially when I'm depressed. Like, I'm not going to sit here and be like, I'm the most, the best listener when it comes to those moments. But I decided to listen to her and I turned on Transformation Church because that is like my go-to church. Even though I don't physically go there, I do personally enjoy watching them. And I just feel like something's off. I think it's a friend. I do enjoy watching them. And let me tell you, launch episode, I think four, he came in like right off the bat. I didn't get to even finish it. I really do need to finish it. Might finish it in the car um, while I'm driving to where I need to be. Or might just wait until I get home. But, <laughs> baby, he just came in with a bang. So I'm like, okay, well, God's speaking. He didn't like what I was saying, clearly. Um. Then once I'm like down from that and I'm down from like okay i'm opening to listening because like i said i don't be in the mood to listen to anybody that's when he really starts speaking because i believe god speaks through people and like i said that was the first thing i watched yesterday and then today i woke up you know i thanked him for waking me up this morning and i had to basically ask him for, to forgive me for what i was saying yesterday because y'all i was down bad down bad and i i don't have a problem admitting that because as Christians, we do, some people do have pride. Like, people do not want to admit, like, like, I have areas to work on. As a Christian, I have areas to work on. And I, I get upset. And it was a pro it was a time, probably like a couple days ago, it was a, a situation. Like, I have stuff going on in my personal life. And I was just like, I am very angry. And I was like, I feel like, as God being our parents, I was a little angry guy. Like, I was not, I'm not going to cap. And my mom was like, you, you can't do that. You can't. I was like, well, let's listen. Let's listen. Because I'm being transparent. I'm being open. I'm telling you exactly how I feel. I'm not about to sit here and lie when God knows exactly how I feel. He knows. He knows. I'm, I can't lie to him. Like, he can literally read my freaking mind. So, of course, yeah, I, I ask for forgiveness for being angry. But people don't under, like, we're human. We're freaking human and as a Christian you you're not perfect. You're not perfect. And I go through down bad moments just like now. Like I am in a down bad moment. So um like I said this morning, like I said, God speaks to people, I feel like, and he does. And I went on this girl's channel that I, I like watching her. Her name's Chloe Yasmin. She actually lives in Michigan. So um I watched her perfume video and she was basically saying the situation that she was going through with the people attacking her through the internet about how she is as a person um that's none of my business whatever but i'm just like what was i saying anyway she was basically saying that when you're at your lowest that's when the devil's demons attacks you and i'm just a hundred percent agree I can't 100% agree. Where are my earrings? I'm saying I agree 100% because my mom is right. When I am not in my word, how I usually am, like reading the Bible or reading something that has something to do with God, whether it's Joyce Meyer's everyday book or reading something or watching something motivational like Transformation Church or a sermon. Oh, baby. Oh, yeah. I'm going to go de de into depressed lane. I am. Like, I most definitely am. And she was saying, Chloe was saying, if you are if you ponder on something, 
and that already gets you down, that's when they attack. And that's completely true because if I'm pondering on what's going on in my life and I'm pondering and pondering and he already knows that this is something I'm very like upset about or it's just bothering me and I'm trying to figure out how to get from A to B and now I'm at B but now how do I get to freaking E? It's just he throws something else and I'm like, dang, what am I here for? Like purpose and I just feel like crap. So. I go through this all the time and I think I said that before I go through these moments so freaking much and I know exactly what I need to do to freaking stay out of it and be like why do you why do you get out your word like why do you stop I haven't watched a sermon in a couple days and in them couple days that was like <laughs> smack me around like a little puppet it's just <sighs> I'm going through postpartum depression postpartum depression plus depression plus going trying to figure out your own life but that's not our job to figure out our own life because our lives are already written out for us it's just he has we have to trust him and have faith in him and it's not even like I was telling my mom she's like you have to keep your faith I was like it's not even my faith it's me wanting control I am that person I and like that in general, I was like that in the womb. Like I wanted to, I wanted to control. I was trying to tell my mama when I'm about to be you. I almost came three months early. No, it don't work like that. And when I was watching one of the other, um, the other transformation videos, he was saying he called two people up. And he like, would you rather want to see God or hear God? And one person chose hear, one per person chose see. So he gave the person that wanted to see God earphones that he couldn't hear anything that the preacher was saying. And the guy that could hear God but he couldn't see him um he was able to hear the preacher tell him take two steps forward or turn left and the guy with the earphones was just looking around looking like he didn't know what was going on which he didn't and I think about that and I thought about that today and I'm like as much as I want to control my own life which is never gonna happen I'm never gonna have like control control over my freaking life unless like you know I'm just never gonna have control like that over my life but I would rather hear God than to see him because even if you had the ability to see him, you still going to struggle getting to where you want to be and get into where he has your purpose. So you're still going to be stressed out. So it's like you can't really win. You just got to follow through with what God wants you to do. And every day, just keep going and not give up. And that's what I need to keep telling myself. Don't give up. Girl, you got it. But it's hard. And it... It gets me down and I get frustrated and I get sad and I get depressed and I look at my child and I be like, I want so much more for her. And that's why I'm like, I gotta do something. Like I want so many different things for myself and my child. So that's why I really, I'm very hard on myself, but I just gotta believe like God got me. It's just in my mind. Like what is the saying? Uh, um, Something is the devil's playground, a uh, uh, an empty mind is a devil's playground. Something, something. Y if y'all know the saying, then yeah, like that is very true. But I'm about to get Leia dressed so we can head out to Goodwill so I can drop all these freaking clothes off and go to Michael's. Is it Michael's? I think it is. I think it is Michael's. Or, I don't know, I'm gonna figure it out. But I do want to get Starbucks as well. So let's just head out and do what we gotta do. Run away. It's the fact that I had to sing that for like so long. Malaya. And now she's crying. I don't know how long I sung it, but my freaking throat hurt. Um. Okay. Let me change her. Because she probably wet. Okay, my love. Alright, today is 
Sunday, October 2nd. So, um, I'm just about to basically kind of get myself together. I'm not doing like a, a hygiene routine because I do want to do a separate video on that. But we just been chilling all day today. Malaya had me up like four to six different times. So, it was just, just too much going on. So, we stayed in today. We didn't do anything. We ordered Thai food. Um, but I'm actually, like I said, I'm about to just take a shower. And I'm not going to wash my hair because I already washed my hair a couple days ago. But I am going to use a hair mask that I used one time. But I really do love the hair mask. But I did get some um, lotion from Amazon. It's unscented lotion. Because... I got two different things in now actually. I got this lotion today, but the um, the other package I got like the day before yesterday or something. I don't know, something like that. Oh, give myself on a freaking lip. But I got the Vaseline uh, Advanced Repair Fragrance Free Lotion. I got two of these. It was probably like twelve dollars for both of them plus shipping. Um, then when I was watching Chloe Yasmin's video, I've never heard of this brand before, but she was talking about oils. What is it called? Luxury perfume oils. So I was like, you know, why not, you know, try them, see what they're about. I do have a lot of perfume because I do like perfume. Like I love perfume. I love it smell good. So me finding out about these. I never really heard of them. So she did link or put the person's at on the screen. And I got two different scents. I think I got, let me open it first. She got bubble wrap around it. But the brand is Mercy, I don't know. But this is, this is her card. And then this is the back of what it looks like and everything. It's a cute little card. And it smells so good, even when I opened the little sample one she gave me did not know she was gonna give me a sample and i almost threw it away because i didn't know it was something else in the back and it was so freaking tiny but this is tribe the scent tribe and it smells so freaking good and i'm definitely gonna order this scent because i don't think i got i don't think i got this in but this smells good so also be on the lookout if you do order she might give you a sample she might not i'm not really sure how she does that, but it smells absolutely freaking wonderful. So I got um, one of the scents that Chloe had mentioned in her video. So I don't know if it's Good Girl or if it's this scent right here. But yeah, she mentioned this one, Good Girl by Carolina Herrera. And don't know what it smells like, so we're gonna see what it smells like together. Mmm. This smells really good. It smells like a soap I have actually. And then I got pink sugar. I just wanted to get another one just to see like what the scent smells like. And this one smells really good too. I don't know which one I'm gonna wear tonight. I might wear pink sugar tonight. But like I said, I wanted to order some because um, she said it smelled good. So I trusted her opinion on that. And they actually do smell really good. Good girl smells good. And then like I said, I got pink sugar. It smells absolutely wonderful. So I'm gonna pair that with the um, Vaseline lotion today. But for my hair, I'm gonna be using um, the Paraben Free Moisture Rich Conditioner Black Castor Oil. I'm gonna be using that one today and conditioning my hair. And then I'm gonna go in and also use the Rosemary Mint Daily Styling Cream by Mayel. And this is gonna be after I get out the shower because I wanna use that, put it in my hair and then blow dry it so it can have like some moisture and stuff but the hair mask i'm using is the my l as well the rosemary mint strengthening hair mask and the whole point of me cutting my hair was one because i wanted to cut it and i was just going through like a whole bunch of crap and then two i wanted it to be healthy healthier because it was really freaking dead so yeah that's what i'm about to do i'm about to comb my hair out just hang it and then spray it with some water so that I can condition it. Or should I condition it first? I think I'm going to condition it first and then put the hair mask in. You're so rude. You see me literally talking using running water. 
I didn't think it was gonna be that loud. I mean, I don't know. That's why I was turning water off before. Okay. Just let me know when I get compared. <laughs> anyway, I guess I'm just about to comb my hair out really quick and then get in the shower. So Edward. You are so irritated. And I'm gonna catch y'all when I get out the shower because I am gonna be straightening my hair on camera with you guys. So this don't need to be combed out. It is so nappy and tangled. So let me just get started with this because this gonna hurt. This gonna hurt for sure. Okay, we're out the shower. Great shower, amazing shower. I exfoliated and I just I feel good. I didn't get to shave or anything. Like I said, I'm going to do that in a different video. But I just feel so clean. Malaya been chilling out. Not trying to jinx it. But she's been chilling out there with her dad. Just watching him play 2K. All that stuff. But for the lotion, I got y'all angled up. Because one, I ain't got a bra on. I just got the shirt on. And I'm not I'm not trying to show y'all my boots. Okay. But I love the perfume the oil perfume like i am so glad i ran across the well i watched the video and ordered some i'm definitely gonna order some more but i'm gonna wait to order some because when we get get um i'm not really sure when we move in and i do need a new cubicle not really sure actually i have cubicle cubicles at my mom's house and whenever we do move i think i'm just going to like go by there and pick them up and all that stuff because y'all buying a new one no not trying to do that but yeah i'm about to do oh actually let me finish telling y'all for when i use a lotion when i use a lotion i use a little bit and i did like three little drops of the oil perfume lotion my arms my chest and just more lotion no more drops and a little bit goes a long way because it is strong but it's not too strong it's like a perfect like a perfect scent for me like a perfect strength of the smell if that makes sense but uh 10 out of 10 recommend 10 out of 10 recommend of course you got a way to see how it works with your body chemistry there's only one perfume that i've used before that just had me like it didn't really work and i think i still have that perfume or did i throw it out in one of my vlogs i don't know but i don't know but we about to use this straightener steam styler my mother-in-law actually gave me this probably like a year ago or i was pregnant with leia so not that long ago so it's a hair comb protect edge 12 millimeter millimeter built in water lcd display and a swivel cord power cord so let's see do i need to blow dry my hair first yeah it's not telling me if i should my hair should be dry first but to take precaution i'm gonna dry my hair first and then like use it because i don't want to burn my hair up i ain't trying to do all that Ooh, it looks so good after the freaking hair mask it seemed like it brought my curls to life. But I feel like as I got older, my hair went from curly to wavy. But that hair mask, I most definitely recommend that. It's so good. I love the hair mask. Like I said, that's my second time using it because I don't really use hair masks like that. I need to take care of my hair a lot more than what I do. But y'all, it actually like, I love it. It looks so good. All right, so I finished blow drying my hair. I went in with my Maya Rosemary Mint Scalp and Hair Strengthening Oil. I really do love this stuff as well. So I went in with that. And now I'm about to start the... I 
ain't trying to wake my baby up. But I'm about to start the straightening process. So let's just get started. I don't think it'll take as long since I don't have my long hair anymore. It shouldn't take as long as it did. It shouldn't take as long as it used to. So we're gonna time it. Right now it's 719. So we're gonna see. We're gonna see what the heck is about. I didn't lose as much hair during the detangling process. It felt like a lot. It felt like I was losing so much hair. But I don't think I did. I don't think I did. But I'm just gonna straight well do a middle part so that it can just be straight down the middle. I might do like flip it to the side once I'm done straightening it, but right now when I am straightening my hair, me straightening it straightening it down the middle is so easy to me. I'm gonna start in the back. And we're gonna move our way up. Save twenty percent or more on your rental rate when you sign up to one of them: a living room and TV, washer dryer, bedroom and mattress. You decide and save twenty percent or more. Get happy twice at the center. Hey, Michigan. Want to save democracy this November? Then vote for our next Secretary of State. What does the Secretary of State? Great question. There are chief their job to protect our elections. If what? someone tries Ever. to turn the results, they I'm gonna kick you ass. <laughs> All right, so I finished my hair off camera, but like I need to put some oil around here because it's like dry all around my edges, and we ain't got time to lose <laughs> my edges. And I gotta comb my hair down. So. <laughs> Give him a little, a little spot. But yeah, I just finished it. It didn't take as long as it does when, well, as it did when I had longer hair. I did cut my ends because it was not even at all. So, ended up doing that. So, I'm just about to give Lele a bath and get her ready for bed because tomorrow we got some errands to run, take care of some stuff. So we're gonna do that together early. Well, actually, I have my therapy session at three. So, I don't know, I might do it early. Handle everything early. And I gotta meet with the realtor at 5.30. I told her I'll meet with her at 5.30. So I'm gonna go take care of everything I need to take care of. I need to go print some stuff off. So I'm gonna go to FedEx to do that because the library, I just don't have time for that. But yeah, and I wanna get Starbucks. I'm gonna get some Starbucks. And I really wanna go to TJ Maxx to see what's going on there. I've never been there. I've never been to Marshalls or TJ Maxx. I just wanna see what's in there for fall stuff. But I don't know, it's up in the air because I don't really need to spend any money. But we're gonna see. So, we're gonna talk to you guys tomorrow. We're gonna get her ready for her bath. I look like a mother. I look like a straight mother. And I'm about to oil my edges because baby don't got time to lose them. I don't because they're a little dry. They're real dry. So, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Good afternoon. I was gonna say good morning, but it's not morning. It's like 2 o'clock afternoon. I'm about to get ready for my therapy appointment. My therapy appointment is at 3 o'clock. It's 12 6. And thankfully, luckily, it's at home, it's virtual, and all my appointments are going to be virtual because I don't want to leave to go. And she's all the way in, like, close to MSU. No, ma'am! That's a long drive, baby. That's a long drive. But, um, I was emailing and talking to one of the realtors that, like, was showing us a house. And you know, when it comes to, um, I just woke up by the way, my voice sounds a little, a little crazy, but anyway, of course, when it comes to applications for anything, apartments, houses, they're going to ask for your employment, they're going to ask where you work, all that stuff. Now, I don't know if I've ever told y'all, but my boyfriend's mom has her own health company. She has her own business. She does her own thing. She has her own employees, all that. If we put that we work for this such such business and we gross this amount of money and we give y'all it that should be that my opinion like every other place that we've applied for or even when we applied here 
They didn't ask for the things that they're asking for. The landlord is asking for through the realtor. So I'm gonna give y'all everything that they asked for. They talk about all that we want. Um, the first thing was since it's a healthcare business, we think it should be licensed. So can we get the EIN number? Okay. Edward at first he was like, they asked for too much information. Like why? Like <laughs> why they ask for that? Okay, whatever. We got it. Well, she got it. She emailed the realtor the EIN. All that crap. So I'm thinking we in the clear. Not all they wanted was like a clear sheet of our credit report, which is fine. Okay, my credit report, uh, cause when she printed it, it didn't like go through, but she was able to see it on her computer and just write the amount of everything that we owed or what we have. So I guess they wanted a clear view, like they wanted it. They didn't want her to write it out. So she's saying, can we meet up today? And like, I can give them the new credit report. Fine, whatever. But also in the message, they're talking about some, oh, can we get pay subs? Can we get W-2s that y'all made or grossed or whatever? Also, how many employees does your, the company have? Are you asking McDonald's how many employees do they have? If somebody works at McDonald's and is applying, applying for somewhere? And I know a lot of people like some, oh, don't bring race into it. Don't bring race into it. No, because in my opinion, like I told Edward, if it's meant for us, it's meant for us. It meant for us, if it's not, it's not. And it's going to fall through regardless of what I say and how I say it. Now, I wasn't rude when I texted or I emailed it back. But, of course, in the beginning message, I was like, yeah, I can meet up with you. So, I can gather all the information and find my W-2s and all that stuff. And meet up meet up with you tomorrow at the same time. But, it's like, a, is there a reason y'all ask for, like, they're asking for all this information? Because, like, it kind of feels like a... <laughs> like a race thing because like did y'all ask these tenants the other tenants all of this other information like do y'all want did y'all want all this stuff from them and call it what you want but i'm not the type to bring race to it if it is it is it, it is what it is but it feels like a race thing because like bro like if i was caucasian like i said would it matter if my mother-in-law has a business? Like, it wouldn't matter. That's what I'm getting at. And people going to take it how they're going to take it, and I don't really care. But Edward was saying, like, text his mom first to see if I should send it. No! I'm not about, I'm gonna stand my, I, I'm not even standing my ground. I'm going to say what I got to say, because like I said earlier, if it's meant for us, it's meant for us. If it's going to fall through, God going to have it fall through regardless, and he going to bless us with something else he gonna help us find something else i don't care i'm not about to sit here and keep my mouth shut and i want to know i ask questions i just want to know what's the reasoning okay that's it <laughs> that's all i want to know but like i said i'm about to get dressed all i gotta do is brush my teeth and you know take a shower or whatever and then hold on she's choking Okay, anyway, she's so dramatic. But yeah, I'm about to brush my teeth and everything. And after that, I'm about to just go tour some places. Um, yeah, I'm going to tour some places. I haven't called anybody yet. I might just pop in and just be like, I got something to tour. And see what it's about. And we'll figure it out from there. And I'm going to take y'all along with me. I still want to go to TJ Maxx or Target to get a vibe in. And I also want to go to Starbucks, so... Therapy is only an hour long, so we should be in and out. I'm going to be dressed already, and I'm going to have to get her dressed, so I'm going to see y'all when I get to wherever I be. I don't know. Okay, Lele. All these freaking people. Is that it? Is that it? Dang. And then my freaking beeper want to take his freaking time beeping. Okay, so we're on our way to go, we'll see if they have any places to view um, at these apartments. My my brother, not actually, my brother lives at these apartments. He actually just moved in on Saturday. Never even heard of these. They're a thousand square feet, plus they have townhomes and way cheaper than what we have right now or what we pay right now and yeah so on my way to do 
that and like I said hopefully they have some places or well, some units that we can view and then after that I'm gonna go out with my mom to go and get some food because I am like so freaking hungry I'm starving and I'm to the point of I'm so hungry I got one of these dry donuts that it would like this is so spongy I don't like these I like the powdered donuts at least or the glazed but you got to do that and then I still need to go to um, FedEx so that I can print out our credit reports that they want like I said I'm gonna give them the information they want for us to rent but if they ain't gonna give it to us they gonna give it to, give it to us regardless so okay. but I hope y'all are having a great day I wanted to do vlogtober but will I really be able to do it like I don't know I don't like I don't post like that I, I post but vlogtober maybe I'll try a vlogmas but because I'm already three days in and behind on content in a way I did my therapy session it went really well I actually do love my therapist for the first time meeting her through virtual session she she's really cool she has two kids one on the way and it was nice for her to well it was good to be able to relate and for her to know what I'm actually going through because she has had children herself and postpartum and depression and all the other stuff I talked to her about and I really did enjoy it I really think it's gonna be a good thing for me and I'm glad that I just went with what I should have went with a long time ago and getting a therapist so if you guys are thinking about getting therapy I definitely recommend like you do not have to get medication and that's one thing I don't I, I never wanted I didn't want to get therapist because I'm like I don't want someone to prescribe me medicine I don't want to take pills I go through depression but I don't need no freaking pills making me even more depressed and people might say pills will make you even more depressed but that's on like record like you per were prescribed pills I think that's how about that I don't need that being on record you can be on record that I got therapy but not that I have medicine okay so we just got to TJ Maxx because the apartments closed at 5 and um, yeah it was already 5 when I was arriving so I just left well I didn't even get there but um I'm about to are these the same apartments? I'm so confused about to go in here and basically just look around and see if I like see some stuff I want. I've seen some people get some really cute purses from TJ Maxx and I do want another purse and like a smaller but not too small of a purse because I don't have a problem carrying my, my purse around but it, it, sometimes I get too big and I don't have time for that. So I just want to update y'all and tell y'all that. We was going here and my mom's going to meet me up here so we can go eat food because I'm I'm starving right now and then oh you are nice let's see they have a wash and dryer hook up okay I don't Ugh. can I see some pictures I don't know but yeah we about to just go in here catch a vibe if I can't catch a vibe I should have went to Target because Target is my go-to girl but yeah let's go into TJ Maxx and see basically what's the hype because I've seen some people like really love TJ Maxx and I want to see what the hype is I really do I should have went to Target I should have went to Target I was I wasn't in there for like 10 minutes I looked around and I don't know maybe everybody else's TJ, TJ Maxx is like better but the one out here in Canton no 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 basically I just wasted my freaking time getting out but I guess it's a good thing that I got out the car because when I was getting the light out, I almost touched a freaking spider. And I had to kill the freaking spider. <sighs> oh my gosh. That was a waste of time. That was a waste of freaking time. TJ Maxx, um, do better at all stores. Please. Because 
I don't know what they got, but that I, I ain't see it. Hello. Uh, how far are you? I'm at Kroger's and I'm on the phone with them at the same time talking to them about my PO box. So where are you at now? I just left TJ Maxx. Like TJ Maxx ain't had nothing. Okay, I don't know. I don't know. I just don't. Know. Okay. Um. So like. I'm at Kroger's. You just sitting there or you're in the store? I'm at, I'm at TJ Maxx. Okay, so you gonna sit there until I get there? Cause I'm leaving now. Bro. Um, I'm about to go to Target. Cause I can, so I can at least walk around. Cause Malaya get cranky. Okay, well then I meet you there. Just, I'm on the phone. I just got the ear from the earpiece in my ear. So I'm just. <sighs> All right, mom. Okay, I'll just meet you there. I'll just meet you there. You gonna be there? Target. Yes, Target but, on in Canton. In Canton. It's two of them. Wait, hold on. I gotta send you the address. We're on our way to Malaya's appointment. She has to be there at 1025. We're gonna get there at 1026. Um, why did it just cut off? What the shoot? It isn't able. Retry. It was just connected. Stupid. That one's fucking holding cars up and stuff. <laughs> anyway, she has her appointment today. She has to get her other shots, which sucks mainly because Edward can't come because he has to work today. And I'm gonna have to be the one to hold her freaking arms down. When we did the other appointment, he held the first one, he held her arms down and I cried because that's just what I do. I didn't want her to get her freaking shots and I didn't like that she was crying, even though like, you know, crying is a part of life, but still, I didn't want her to get shots. So that's what we're on our way to do. And then um, I'm also going to go try and tour one of these townhomes that Edward found. I don't know if I want to record it. And if I do record it, I may not talk. I'll just probably insert a clip. Maybe not. I don't know. I may not even record. But um, I wanted to upload this vlog tomorrow. But I might just wait simply for the fact that... We're going to the apple orchard on Saturday with Edward's brother and his girlfriend. So even if they don't go, we're going to the apple orchard because I wanted to go last week, but he said uh, his brother and girlfriend might go. So we just waited and I'm like, okay, well, I want to go. I never been to an apple orchard. Well, I went when I was younger, but y'all, when I was younger and I was in school going on field trips and stuff, like, was it really a vibe? No, because I was like alone so it didn't really freaking matter but i want to go and i want to experience it experience it again as an adult and also take malaya even though is she gonna remember it no but is she gonna get pictures yes and i kind of want to make it like a tradition type of thing like do it every year and even for her birthday i want to go to disney for her first birthday I know that's like okay well you're doing too much but I really do want to go to Disney mainly because again I went to Disney when I was younger but I don't remember Jack my mom keeps saying oh you went to Disney when you were younger I don't remember it we didn't even go back but like I said I want to go oh that was a B and so that's something we're like saving for or at least oof, just trying to save for and try to figure out what um package to get because his sister him and his sister went to florida last year with their ne with her his nephew and her fiance or her husband out and they had a good time but the only bad experience i would say for them and i'm pretty sure they will vouch on vouch for it is spirit flying spirit their flight got canceled and they didn't have a way freaking back because at the time 
they kept saying it's because it was a bad storm but in reality the people well, go, go. But then, why are we just sitting here at the freaking green light the people was on strike because they wasn't getting paid so that's that but yeah we on hurry to her appointment i don't know if i'm gonna be able to record because last time i tried to record for a vlog she was like some are you recording and i was like yeah she was like sorry you can't record bitch you could have stayed behind me like dead ass you could She's like, you can't record in here. Which is stupid as hell because a lot of YouTubers freaking, I see them recording their kids, recording Sonic Rant, recording everything. And I can't record my baby getting some dang shots or her appointment in general. Good afternoon, y'all. So, it is Tuesday? No, it's Wednesday. It's Wednesday, October 5th. And I know I said I was gonna like do the video and not stop it until we go to the pumpkin patch or whatever it's called, the pumpkin patch on Saturday. But, one, I don't want to wait that long to do something with my baby. Like, I want to do something. I want to do something Halloween themed for her. And two, I wanted to make a memory anyway. So I was going to go to Michael's to get up, pick up some, <coughs> some paint. You stink, girl. I'm trying to change her because she pooped. But I was going to go to Michael's to pick up some paint, um, some washable paint a canvas and some paint brushes so that we can do like a little canvas or something and then i always mm -hmm. wanted to still do um like a little canvas that me edward and malay can do with our handprints i've seen it i hope y'all didn't see that poop i've seen it on tiktok so many times and i just always thought it was cute but instead of me going and leave my house i'm just going to um freaking order it so i'll instacarted it it should be here by i think they said 4 35 or 4 55 between that time slot or time frame whatever y'all want to freaking call it but yeah that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna record it and i'm gonna close out the video like that because again i wanted something for malaya to have her memory so i'm gonna have to wait for it to dry of course so i could put either i don't know <laughs> i either want to paint her little booty cheeks or her footprint or her handprint something i'm gonna do something and then dry it and put trick or treat at the top corner and the date so that we can remember like okay she was four months here when we did this i don't know i kind of want to build traditions or just do something like fun and not so i'm not into like i love fall and i love halloween so not even like the how can I say it? I like the stuff that come on Halloween, like the pumpkin patch and the corn maze and stuff like that. But I'm not into the haunted houses only because, like, I wouldn't like people go to the Elwes Asylum for the haunted house, and that place really haunted. That's that place is haunted for real. I'm not. I don't mess with the devil. I don't, I don't mess with him. He can stay where he at. I stay where I'm at. I already go through my depression. Baby, I ain't going through, I ain't trying to bring him home with me. Damn. So, I just want to do a little something to, yeah. Just for Malaya. I also want to do one for Christmas. So, I might do like a, a Christmas tree and put her handprint or something. I don't know. I figure out. I'm not the best artist out there. Like, of course, I'm not, I'm not a drawer. I did kind of well in art. I kind of did some good stuff. But, I wanted to do a pumpkin but I don't think they're delivering pumpkins. 
I searched them on um, Instacart, but I didn't see no freaking pumpkin. It seems like I keep wiping and just keep being more poop. I'm not understanding why. Here's your butthole. It's not that, like, how much poop did you have? How much poop did you have? But I wanted to do a pumpkin, but maybe when um we go to the pumpkin patch, then I'll get her a little pumpkin or something, and then we'll have the paint here, and we'll just paint. But... Yeah, that's the video today. Well, that's what we're doing today. Elwood's at work, so that's why it's just going to be me and Leah doing it. But when he gets home, we'll probably do something in a different video and do something Halloween themed. What is that flying? Do something Halloween themed. Lately, I've just been so emotional like i started my period in a couple of days yeah at a couple literally a couple of days and yesterday ever was trying to pop this bump on my arm right here and i've had it for some years it has never like gotten bigger and he said it's a blackhead like a support whatever he said and if you don't like pop it it's gonna get bigger and it's gonna clog oh the crap so i was like what <laughs> what if like he or she don't want to leave like what if it's just like a bump that want a friend and he was like really like the bump with a friend and i was just like yeah and i stood there for a minute where did the tears come from i don't know i don't know i have so many emotions going on with me right now and i'm just like sad like, i just started freaking crying i started crying over a bump having a friend bro that and guys say I was just up here. No, bro like the hormones maybe i'm just the only one i experienced stuff like that but every female I'm pretty sure it's so emotional around that time and it's just that was just pathetic that was pathetic the most pathetic thing I don't know if I ever showed y'all her in her little her seat I don't know if I showed y'all but she looks so cute in her seat um did I even update y'all on her appointment like what no Ooh. girl I dropped your wipe in a freaking dark bag I didn't update, update y'all on her appointment. So, we went to her appointment yesterday. Um, she weighed 17 point, she weighed 17 pounds, 13, 17.13 something, whatever they, however they printed it out. 17 pounds, 13 something ounces. Um, she is 25 inches long. Yeah, she's 25 inches long. And she was basically telling me or asking me like how much she eats. And y'all know, or I think y'all know, unless I posted on TikTok about it. I know I posted on TikTok. But I was feeding her um, cereal with her bottles. And I would feed her like twice a day with the, <coughs> the cereal formula and all that crap. And I stopped doing it because one, she was getting chunky. She was getting real chunky. And then two, she got constipated. So I stopped doing it and I only give her... Um, the cereal with the her formula once a day, which is before bed so she can sleep Lately I haven't been doing it. I was just giving her her eight ounce bottles because I Just didn't want her to gain too much weight too fast for one and two Well two doubt that's that's one so I didn't want her to gain too much weight too fast and, Oh and two I didn't want her to get constipated again so her doctor was saying, like, um, did she throw up a lot after she eats eight ounces? Sometimes, sometimes she throws, sometimes she don't. Like, she ate a little bit of her milk before I even turned on the, um, the camera. But sometimes she does, sometimes she doesn't. She was saying maybe you can, like, lower the ounces, go back to six ounces, or go to six ounces. And I was like, I mean, okay, whatever, I can go to six ounces. But she was like, you know, feed her if, you know, she's hungry, she's hungry. So... I'm like, look, I mean, she ain't big. She ain't like the biggest baby on earth. She just, I don't know. Maybe she eats a lot because she might be tall. I don't know. But she don't eat as much as she thinks she probably eating. Does she always want a bottle? Yes. But I know my child enough to be like, okay, you're just crying because you're, you're tired. And she has a habit of wanting to fall asleep with a bottle in her mouth. And I know when she gets teeth, she cannot do that because it's going to rot in her teeth. Like just having a bottle sit in her mouth with the milk. So if she's hungry, but she falls asleep with the bottle in her mouth, I'm going to take the bottle and I'm gonna put her to sleep. And then sometimes 
she um who is this person called? Who, who are you sometimes she just goes to sleep and she was crying if i know she's tired i know she's tired when she's crying with her eyes closed that's how you know she's tired so um yeah that being said that's the update on her appointment she's growing great she was saying asked me if she's trying or she's rolling yet I'm like no she's not rolling but she tries but she's doing everything else like she could pick stuff up she could turn herself clockwise she can almost like sit up to crawl she's been holding her head up since she was like two weeks old so she's she's great um she asked me if she's sleeping on her back and her bassinet i'm like yeah she sleeps in her bassinet yes yeah, she sleeps on her back i'm not gonna tell them that she sleep on her stomach simply for the fact that i don't want to hear what you have to say about her sleeping on her stomach. she could lift her head up she could lift her head up i wouldn't have her sleeping on her stomach i'm not trying to freaking have my child suffocate which we don't claim in the name of jesus oh that's another thing since i zoomed in her oh my bad i zoomed in on her face so y'all see the little blotches on her face his not his her auntie told me that it was her skin complexion coming in but she's had it since she was a baby and um it's like it got more as she got older i didn't know yesterday until yesterday that it's eczema that is a form of eczema and when my mom also told me yesterday she was like some were you stressing while you were pregnant I looked at her like, you know I was stressing. I had a lot going on. And maybe one day I will open up and let it be known what happened during my pregnancy that I never really, like, opened up about. It's something I'm still, that's the reason I'm in therapy as well, because I can't, like, let it go. But maybe one day I'll open up about it. But anyway, I was. I was stressing really bad, and I forgot that stress can cause a lot on the baby and it can cause eczema as well for the child so yeah she has eczema so she told me to put cortisone one percent cortisone on her face twice a day for five days and since i started late i think i'll end it on sunday instead of saturday and um yeah so we're gonna clear her face up get her face back together she said it usually flares up in the winter time because it gets dry which her face has been dry on this side and i've been using aquaphor but clearly that's not gonna freaking help if it's eczema so i'm gonna clear it up with cortisone and then use eggs not eczema use aquaphor and cocoa butter to just keep her face moisturized and everything so that's oh that's something else i wanted to update y'all on so anyway i'll see y'all when her paint get here hello you all it's a new day I was going to paint yesterday with her, but it got late because by the time they delivered it, the sun wasn't really out and I really did want to use natural lighting. So we got her canvas. Oh, that's why. Because the first order from Instacart, the canvas that I ordered was like half of this. It was a little smaller and she texted me saying there wasn't any available. So she got, got me paper. And checked out and i was like you just refund it because i need a canvas like i really did it was not focused but i really did want a canvas so she just decided to uh refund it and then as she was delivering it i just ordered these and these got here kind of late so i was just like i'm gonna just wait until tomorrow and do the video but lele is um drinking her bottle look at her this is just sitting there looking how she look and i'm about to paint it first and then let it dry for a little bit and put her footprint and her handprint on the um on the wood on this on the dang canvas so we got our 10 pack this is washable paint has to make sure it's washable because Go get on her little fingers, and I don't want to not have it be washable. I'm trying to figure out if I'm gonna do both hands. Should I do both hands? Yeah, I'm gonna do both hands and then do her feet, and then yeah. I think by the time my mom get here, it'll be dry, so that um 
Where's the white paint? Oh, here's the white. I'm gonna do white and orange. Because clearly pumpkin, pumpkin freaking thing. So Halloween thing. Should I draw a pumpkin? I'm not the best artist out here, but we can make something shake. Okay, hold on. This is not gonna work. Okay. This box, right? Smart. Now, I'm so excited to do this. I'm really excited. Like, having a baby, you get more excited for festivities. So, very excited to do this. Why this dang paint? And then I'll probably do a, a sensory um, project with her as she gets a little older so she can um, play with the paint and everything. So, let's see if I should wet the paintbrush first. That's what... That's one thing I do remember about, um, for best results. I don't know if I should wet my paintbrush first, because that's what I remember in, um, what's it called, art class? We wet a paintbrush and then paint on it. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. Okay. Our canvas. Ooh, it's so nice. I'm gonna use her little seat as my little holder for my paint. And I'm gonna only need. Let me go get a bowl because I don't know how I'm gonna do this. Hold on. There's so much paint I'm gonna use for right now. Only a little bit because I don't want to waste it. But it's a big, it's a big canvas. And I got some water and Malaya's bassinet in a bowl. So. This is a nice little brush. It's kind of hard though. I'm going to use this one first. Because it's bigger and I want to get done. So. Let's get started. While I'm doing this, I'm going to be watching YouTube. So, I'm not going to really be talking to y'all. So, I'm going to wet my paintbrush a little bit. Should I get a napkin? It's kind of fun. It's kind of like I'm very excited to do this. And then damp it on a paper towel. Ah! Move! Stop, move! Damp it on a paper towel. <laughs> I should not be this excited. Okay. Ooh, it's dripping. <laughs> this is so exciting. Oh my goodness. I am a little kid at heart. I really am. I don't even want to have streaks in it. I want it to be like streak free. This is so fun. <laughs> this is why I wanted to do a, a sipping paint. I said I wasn't going to talk. But this is why I wanted to do a sipping paint uh, class. Because it's just so calming. I knew it would be calming. I loved art. I just didn't like getting graded on it. Like, why are you grading me? Like, I can't draw. Why are you grading me on this? Right, so this is our canvas so far that we have all orange and stuff i don't know if i should do another coat my lips are so i hate when you brush your teeth you got like skin on your lips but um yeah this is the first coat don't know if i should do another one to make it darker maybe i should I'm going to wait. Move. 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 
I'm gonna let it dry for a minute and then I might do another coat or I should yeah I'm gonna let it dry for a minute do another coat and then let it dry completely so I could paint her hands and feet and put her feet on it and everything so yeah for right now I'm about to look up how to draw a pumpkin how to draw on a pumpkin how to draw a pumpkin See, that's the thing. I don't want to mess up. I don't know how to draw at all. And drawing in paint, that's just. I'm going to draw a leaf. Okay. I'm gonna draw a pumpkin leaf. I can't draw a leaf either. Let me get back to y'all. Hold on. I'm trying to edit the video where I painted Malaya's feet and did this. Like I did this, okay? And it's not freaking uploading. Like it's not in importing at all. And that's low key making me so freaking sad. Like that's so irritating. It imported the first two videos but it didn't import when I was doing it and I put it on that's irritating but yeah um I guess all I can say is I hope y'all enjoyed the freaking video from just that cause that's all I freaking had left all I have is when I did the second coat of the paint for the orange but not when I started her like painting her hands and stuff and I really did want that like I wanted that inserted and it's not freaking inserted I didn't try every freaking thing <sighs> but I mean I hope y'all enjoyed the video it turned out really well this is what it looks like her handprints not really handprints because she was not trying to keep her hands together but her feet turned out nice it says trick or treat. I put um, October 6th, which is the date today. I put four months because she's four months and her first Halloween. So, yeah, like I said, this is what it turned out to look like. Like, I wish it would have freaking imported, but it didn't. So, I guess I hope you guys enjoyed the freaking vlog. Because that's stupid. But, yeah, I'll just see you on my next one.